Hello, I'm Foligon, and today I'm going to show you how to use a bend curve deformer in ZBrush. Begin by selecting a primitive piece of geometry and making it a polymesh 3D. At the bottom of your tool palette, click on Initialize, and copy the settings that I have here, and select Y Cylinder. Under Geometry, Size, we're going to crank up our Y, and then under Crease, we're just going to click on Crease with the default setting of 45. Let's add some subdivision levels to smooth out our geometry, and then click on any of these icons to get our 3D gizmo to pop up. Click on the gear icon to access the deformer palette, and then click on bend curve. You will get an error telling you that you need to delete or freeze your subdivision levels, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll just temporarily delete our lower subdivs, go back to our gear icon, and select bend curve. From here, let's grab this red cone and click and drag on that until it turns green, signifying the y-axis. We have these little points that we can modify. We don't want to do this quite yet. Let's undo. And then let's click on this final cone up here and click and drag. This is your resolution. Essentially what we want to do is get only a single dot in the middle. And then from there, we can click and drag on that middle point to start affecting our bend. Then you can rotate your camera and bend that the other way. Let's rotate back. And at this point, this is when I would add some additional resolution and start making the curve a little bit more complex and visually interesting. After you're done, click on the gear icon and then select Accept. Now if you want to get your subdivision levels back, all you have to do is click on Reconstruct a few times to get that all the way back to where you had it. Then we can step on back up and we have our geometry with a nice bend curve applied. Now there's actually an easier and faster way to do this that does not involve using the deformer palette. So instead of using the 3D gizmo, let's swap on back to our transpose line. I'm going to draw out my transpose line by holding the shift key, and I'm going to hold the alt key with move activated, and left click inside this circle you'll see that we get a pretty similar effect to what we were getting with our bend curve deformer. The added benefit here is that we can also use this with subdivision levels. The bend created with the transpose line is dependent on where your transpose line is and how long your transpose line is. So making that really short will make the area of effect much smaller. Now I do think you get some added control using the actual deformer, but if you're just trying to do something quick, I think this is a really great alternative. Some applications of the bend curve deformer would be creating the overall shape or curve of a character's hair. I've also used it for creating the overall curve of a creature's body that is more snake-like. You can also use it for something like antlers or posing your character's limbs. There are a lot of applications for it, and I hope you get a chance to use this tool in your own work. If you found this video helpful, check out gumroad.com slash Foligon for more tutorials and all the tools that I use for my professional work. Can't wait to see what you guys make with this, and I'll see you in the next video or over on my live stream. Have a great day.